Hi, hello, this is Anoop here and in this video we are going to see how to enable third party software updates in SSEM. Okay, so I'm using 1902 production version of SSEM and this is the latest build. Just for your awareness, I have already installed WSUS on this server and this is my WSUS and I have enabled SUP. SUP is already there over here. I have already enabled third party patching from software update point component properties. So this is already enabled. So these are the few prerequisites before you try third party software updates from SSEM. So let's start. Let's go to software library and let's go to third party software update catalog. I have already added two partner catalogs. One is Dell and the other one is HP as you can see. Now I wanted to add a custom catalog. I will click on this button on the rib ribbon button over here. The first thing it requires a download URL of that partner catalog. Okay, so in this video, we are going to see how we can update third party application like Adobe Reader or Acrobat Reader 11 with SSEM. So first step is, as I mentioned before, you need to enable third party patching and you should have SUP configured. Once you have all those things, you can go uh, come to third party software update catalog and add custom catalog. Probably I will provide the name over here that is Adobe Reader. Publisher is Adobe. Download URL. Download URL is this one. Now description. You can provide any details over here. You can provide Adobe Acrobat readers support URLs if you want. Now next let's say next okay, next in the screen and just close it. Okay now Adobe Reader 11 partner catalog is added. So this is a custom catalog. Adobe Reader 11's catalog is custom catalog and Dell and HP catalogs are partner catalog. Now we need to subscribe to catalog. How we can do that? This is the way. Support URL I didn't provide. So next it's downloading the cap file now. Successfully downloaded the catalog. Let's say next. You need to view the certificate and confirm everything is okay or not. Okay, the certificate is okay probably. I will say I have read and understand this message. That is kind of acceptance. So I accepted it. Completed that wizard. Subscribe to catalog wizard. Okay, so now you can see there is an option to sync now. So that is the next step. You need to sync catalog to get the metadata from the vendor. If I click on this button, what, what will happen is it will try to fetch all the update files from Adobe and you can trace that with log files. Let me pull out some log files over here. You can check the log file called SMS underscore ISV updates underscore sync agent. I'm opening that log and I will keep a note of that log while I try to sync the Adobe partner catalog from third party up update catalog node. So let's do that. Sync now and it will ask for the confirmation. I say yes. Now what will happen is it will update the metadata. It will take the metadata from Adobe and it will put that into WSUS. Okay. So probably we may need to wait for a minute or so before it starts sync. So this sync got started and actually what is happening is let me see catalog data it says error retrieving the dependency okay a lot of red lines so it says sync catalog 41 
updates were synced through WSUSC successfully. Sync catalog update for 41 updates were synced to WSUSC successfully. Zero failed. The metadata got synced with WSUSC now. Now we can go back and check the console and go to administration and check whether there is any changes or new product added into the software update point component properties or not you need to have updates enabled otherwise you won't get the third party updates okay so this is must uh, update should be updates should be enabled in the classification and in the products as you can see automatically it added a new product called adobe reader so i am going to select that now what we can see is if i go back to software library and all updates you won't be able to see any adobe adobe patch because after the product addition in the software update properties component we didn't do any sync these metadata of updates are available in wsus but these are not available in SSEM. So now we need to do synchronized software updates that will ensure that all the updates metadata are getting synced to SSEM. Let's check that out. So this is wsync.log and the synchronization is started. Let's wait for the synchronization to complete in WSUS sleeping for 120 more seconds before it starts the synchronization between WSUS and SSEM. Started syncing the items. It's checking the Dell ones because uh, Dell is one another update, right? So it, it is not going to get any updates from Dell. So that is why it is, it is syncing the reader one now. As you can see over here. So synchronizing the update reader that is going on that you can see in wsync mgr.log so update completed synchronizing updates so the updates got completed 100 percentage now if i go back to console and let's check out whether there is any adobe reader related updates or not ideally it should be there as you can see the reader updates are there okay now we need to proceed to the next step so if i click on one of the reader update and if i click on download it won't work okay so we need to publish the third party software update content first then only we can download and create a software update package as you can see over here there are blue icons right all these blue icons mean that the updates are not published so now we need to publish the update let me go ahead and publish reader 11.0.23 update to do that click on this button click ok and let's evaluate the log file sms underscore isv updates underscore sync agent let's give it some time it started downloading the msp file and it is downloading it to this folder as you can see this is the folder where the content will be downloaded as a temporary location so this is a temporary location once the download is completed this folder will get deleted so this particular folder i'm talking about still the downloading is going on and you can see a file over here mm -hmm. it's downloading 48 75 70 download is completed calling wsus to add content for this update so sync is completed now as you can see update content success and the sync is completed and the blue icon for 11.0.23 update will get changed to green it seems we need to do a synchronization of software updates to get that publishing thing done and change the icon to green okay for adobe reader update which we downloaded so i'm going to sync and syncing it and let's watch the log file wsync mgr to get more details so it started syncing waking up so it started the synchronization process and it seems it got this update and this is the update which we published it synchronized this update and now the icon will get changed to green 
for that particular update let's see so after the sync the update icon got changed so that means it got published and you can use SSEM to deploy this particular application to your devices green icon now the next step is create a software update group for this particular date and deploy it to the devices okay, what you can do is directly download and create a package and you can deploy it I'm going to create a software update group software update group I'm going to deploy this particular update to the missions so this is the default deployment name it got created and the update group is selected over here so I'm going with the default one and I'm going to select a static collection just to test my updates so all these things are default I'm not going to change it I would recommend to change these settings as per your requirements if you are doing it in production environment so this is my lab environment that is why I'm doing it as default next this is the main part right over here we need to create a update package so I'm going to create a new update package Adobe Adobe Reader 11 0 23 I think and this is my source location this is my source location so I'm going to copy the UNC path of that folder and pasting it over here and next I normally select enable differential and there is an option to select this but I don't think this is applicable for uh, third-party patches this is applicable for only for the normal Microsoft patches okay no deployment package that is not applicable for third-party patches I assume I will add this to my DP I have only one DP okay next download the update from internet this is the excellent option which Microsoft introduced you can get the options to select different languages from here if you want okay if you click on edit you can select different languages but in my case I am going to select only English and say next these are kind of de default settings say next let me finish that off to check what is happening in this I need to go to temporary folder in my profile check out patch downloader dot log I think the patch got downloaded as you can see in the log file over here the patch got downloaded and successfully moved to different folders so if I can go back to the source folder for the reader I can see the content over here this is the patch which got downloaded 11.0.23 that's great stuff so let's see uh, what is happening in the content side so this con the content got distributed to the DP as well this is all fine if I go back to update groups you can see the deployments over here okay if you want you can create a phase deployment for this it's pretty nice stuff uh, from a Microsoft CM side so we don't need SCUP anymore to install third-party updates I think this is it for this video thank you for watching see you next time